The marathon. It's on millions of bucket lists. It's something that can turn a life around. It's the biggest challenge ever faced by everyone who tackles it for the first time. It's done by those who love running, but it's also done by people who don't really like running. People who may be more used to Saturday morning hangovers as opposed to Saturday morning hill reps. People whose society still unfortunately label as not looking like a runner. So why do these people do it then? To raise money, awareness, and put themselves through pain for the gain of others. For most, the marathon is for charity. But where did running for charity come from? Who started it all? Well, today's video is gonna tell you the story of the very first charity runner. It all started at the Boston Marathon, the oldest annual marathon dating back to 1897. Before anyone and everyone ran it, the Boston Marathon was strictly for athletes. It was a competition. It was then somewhat run for fun, those mad enough to call blisters, dead toenails, and jelly legs fun. But then there was a man from Greece, Stylianos Kyriakides, a runner who survived the horrors of the Nazi occupation of Greece in World War II. Much like many other Greeks, Kyriakides and his family faced an endless battle to keep safe and sustain themselves with minimal food as the country became dilapidated. And he proved to be one of the lucky ones as over 400,000 Greek civilians were killed or died during the war. His luck reached its peak in 1943 when he, along with a group of other Greek men, were rounded up by a platoon of Nazis and were told that they were to be killed after a Nazi officer had been killed by civilians within the town. Yet Kyriakides was spared after Nazi officers spotted on his identification papers that he had competed in the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games. And the very next day, Kyriakides saw those other men that he was rounded up with hanging from trees. Understandably, the guilt at being spared lived to haunt Kyriakides for the rest of the war, and it ignited a desire in him to use his status for the good of his countrymen. After the war, Greece was understandably in turmoil, and things only worsened with the country falling into a civil war soon after the fall of the Nazis. This led to severe famine with millions of Greeks facing poverty, starvation, and death. Turning to what he knew best, Kyriakides decided that he would travel to Boston to run the world's most famous marathon and draw attention to the dire situation his historic but increasingly forgotten country was facing. He would run for his people and embody the warrior spirit that the Greeks were known for. After getting back into training, he set forth for Boston in 1946, where he was greeted with shock and horror from his fellow runners that he had made friends with during his time at the Olympics. His peers barely recognized their friend who appeared frail, weathered in the face, and a former shell of his once athletic self. Race officials even debated whether to let Kyriakides participate given his appearance due to safety concerns. The race doctor believed that if Kyriakides was to run, he would literally die in the streets. Yet he persuaded them that he was more than ready despite not running a race for eight years. The start gun fired and Kyriakides soon entered a seamless stride which surprised spectators and his fellow competitors. This shell of a man glided along the streets clearly on a mission, a look in his eyes like no other. He soon found himself neck and neck with the race leader and defending champion John Kelly who also became bewildered at how this man had risen from years of near death. Sure enough, Kyriakides soon passed Kelly and crossed the finish line in first with a time of 2 hours and 29 whilst chanting, for Greece. The drama of this was fortunate to occur at a time in which television was beginning to proliferate and this allowed Kyriakides' achievement to spread across the globe and inspire thousands to contribute millions of dollars to the Greek relief campaign. He arrived home to an unimaginable hero's welcome from the very people that he had done the unimaginable for. The amazing story of Stylianos Kyriakides soon sparked a revolution behind the why of marathon running. Aligning extraordinary feats of human achievement to extraordinary feats of human generosity soon became the norm, creating a snowball effect that has seen billions of dollars raised for thousands of amazing charities, both big and small. And to honor his story, there now stands at the one mile mark of the Boston Marathon course a statue of Kyriakides and Spiridon Luis, the Greek winner of the first modern Olympic marathon in 1886. And that statue is aptly named the Spirit of the Marathon. And with everything that has gone on in 2020, with races postponed and canceled, we've continued to see this spirit live on. 
Because this spirit is so strong, we've seen marathons take all kinds of new forms. In people's back gardens, on their balconies, and in all manner of virtual kind. Because like Kyriakides, when it really comes down to it, people do not run for the medal or the crown. They run with the higher purpose of helping others.